the pain like I'm Nagato. Got no father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? DTR from Tokyo. Diamonds whipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a four leaf glow. Diamonds wanna go. Hello guys, this is Nagato, and for today's tutorial, basically this is the second part on where how I show you how to install your NES games onto your PlayStation 4. So once you got your PS4 booted up, go ahead and run an, the internet browser. So that's what I'm doing right now. And basically use whatever whatever method to basically run Hen or Hen Plus Mirror. In this case, I'm running Hen Plus Mirror. And it may take me a couple of tries. So there it goes right on the screen. So once you basically use whatever website you want to use the payload to basically install debug settings onto your PlayStation 4. In this case, um, the URL is above right there. Uh, PS4 exploits dark dot dark software dot XYZ 5.05 uh, slash hem plus mirror. So if you pause the video, go ahead and type that link from there so you can follow along or basically use any um payload to run hen on your PS4 or you can use X project from Kiwi. But once you do that, go ahead into settings all the way down to debug settings and now you want to have your USB drive in that's either formatted from e or either from formatted from FAT32 to XFAT and then basically uh, put the PKG that you we have made from the first video onto your USB and then once you do that go ahead and go to in debug settings go to game second option package installer and then install the package. Um, it shouldn't take too long since this package file is only like a couple of megabytes. So it's not like GTA or something, you know, big like an update package file for like, I don't know, Red Dead, for example. Even though you can't play Red Dead on 5.05 systems. But anyways, once you have that all installed, go ahead, back out to your main menu. And now you want to boot up RetroArch. If it asks you to update, do not. Just hit update later. And basically... Right now, I'll be showing you guys how you will get into installing your ROM. So you'll see the PlayStation 2 screen right now, or the startup boot up screen. And if you guys ever messed with like soft modding a PlayStation 2 or anything, this is basically how the RetroArch for soft modded PS2s look like. I recognize this kind of screen and format. So what you want to do is go ahead and load content. You don't have to load core because it's already embedded as Quick NES. So circle is basically X, just like if you were playing any uh, Japanese game. So press circle. Go ahead and do this option right here, CDFS, or basically go to this file directory. Go to ROMs, and then from there, select whatever game you put onto your system. So just to show you that the games are booting, I'm going to try, let's see, I don't know. I'm going to just try Baseball Simulator, for example. Once you can do that, click Circle, and voila. That's the game. So I'll just go play through it. To show. And that's it right there. And that's how you basically play NES games for your PS4. So, if you guys liked any of my content, please like and subscribe. Um, if you guys have any other questions on how to install this process to basically run NES games, please contact me. Um, if you do like any of my content, uh, hit the notification bo button also so you know when I'm be putting out videos. Uh, I just want to say thank you to Kiwi for basically helping me install this and just giving me the idea to do this video. Um, this video took me a while too because I'm basically learning on how to capture on or basically capture video for my PS4, and that was a little tricky. I was setting that up today, but thank you guys for been uh, that have been supporting me, have been liking my stuff, retweeting it. I really do appreciate it. I, I try to comment back to everybody as fast as possible too. So I, I do see y'all guys your support, and I really do appreciate that. With that being said, my name is Nagato, and I'm out.